Hey guys, welcome back to the Mr. Room TV headquarters. In this episode, I'm gonna be unboxing all of these PC parts to build my very first high-end gaming PC, even though I'm not a gamer. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Mr. Doom TV. I've never built a PC by myself or never built a PC at all for that matter. So I honestly have no idea what's going on. I don't even know if all of these parts are completely compatible with each other. But I did use this website here and apparently they should work. And when I started researching for this build, I wanted to make sure that I had bought everything I needed so that I didn't have to duck out of the house in the middle of the project. It's like a car project. You wanna have everything that you need so that you don't waste time getting up, stopping, and then going to buy more stuff. So I went on to YouTube and looked for unboxing videos of these parts, but honestly, they weren't that great. And it didn't tell me if the box had everything needed for the build. So hopefully in this video, I can tell you what you need for a PC build so that you don't have to get up and get out of the house, you know, when when you're super excited and in the middle of your project. Let's go. Now this isn't going to be a build tutorial. The video for the build of this gaming PC is going to be in the next video. So please make sure you subscribe, hit the like and bell icon, stay tuned. All right, first we're gonna start with unboxing the case. Let me lower this just a little bit. The case is NZXT H10 Flow. It's a mid tower case and I got it in the matte white and black color. Why did I choose this? Well, one, it was cheap, mad bargain, $107. And two, in case you couldn't tell by the way I modify or keep my car, I kind of like the black and white theme. I think I want to flip it upside down and pull it out that way. It's probably easier. Pull it out. And luckily it's not a heavy case, so that's quite easy to lift up. Oh yeah, that looks good. I love how it looks so clean. This apparently is really easy to take off. Yep, black mesh at the front and there is a dust filter in there or something. Take it off just like that. The mesh front for increased airflow compared to its other versions. It comes with one fan at the front. And how do I get this open? Oh. And it comes with another fan just right there. But I'm gonna be changing that out and I'll show you in just a minute what I'm gonna be changing that to. So let's put this back together and move on to the next part. Next, it's going to be an i7 processor, 12700K. It's got, honestly, I know nothing about the specs. It's got 12 cores. Um, yeah, it's got 12 cores, I think 3.6 gigahertz or something. 12th gen 700, the K, I'm pretty sure means that it's got the integrated, I, I do have a dedicated GPU, but I heard that the GPU, integrated GPU, is useful for video rendering, which is what I do. So I got this, it's pretty expensive. It was on sale for $532 roos. Not cheap, but it'll last me a while. All right, Core i7. Factory seal. Now this, my friend was asking me, why do I need an AIO? It's because the i7 processor doesn't come with its own fan cooler or CPU cooler, whereas the i3 and i5 version does. Boom. Cardboard box, yeah. Oh yeah. Core i7, Core i7. Bright gold contact patches for the pins on the motherboard. I'm not gonna open this just so that it doesn't get dirty before I put it into the motherboard, which you'll see in the next video. All right, and this is what we're gonna be mounting it to. 
the Pro Z69 DDR4. I went for a DDR4 instead of DDR5, one because it's cheaper, it's more readily available, and I don't game, I'm not gonna overclock it, so I don't need the DDR5 or the DDR5 version of this motherboard. And you know, this is considered to be mid-range or budget in MSI's range, but on sale, this was $241 ruse. And I think full price is really close to $300 ruse. You can see all the details. From what I've gathered, it's a really good or pretty good motherboard. Oh yeah. Oh, try not to touch too much of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll talk more about this in the build video and what we're gonna use. It's just an unboxing in the box. What do we get? Um, rear IO shield to go onto the case. We have SATA connection cables, which is much appreciated because I'm going to be using these. I want to be running a HHD, which we'll get onto next. Cool stuff. And we've got something that no one ever uses. CD. I haven't seen, a, or seen or used a CD player in ages. Alright, so this is the 4 terabyte HDD that I'll be using just for storage, mainly because these videos, especially after getting a new camera, each video file is just so large. And the reason why it's not SSD is because I don't need the speed for storage. So the SSD is gonna be one terabyte and we'll talk about that next. And that will be booting the windows, whereas this is just going to be storage after I finish rendering the videos and all that stuff. This is some of the worst packaging I've seen. <laughs> Good God, it came in a box. Let me get the box actually. It came in this box and this was in it with some bubble wrap. And underneath the bubble wrap was just this bag, but it was on sale. Pretty good, I think, $125 ruse. So, just an optical drive, SATA ports up there, I guess. And, yeah, that's that. All right, and for the SSD, it's the Samsung 980 Pro NVMe M2. Apparently it's one of the best ones. It's got really fast write speeds and read speeds. I don't know what any of the numbers mean, but it's one terabyte. Of course, I wanted an SSD that was really fast because of the video rendering and all that stuff. Now this was very expensive. It was on sale, but even though it was on sale, still really expensive at $202 ruse. Let's move on to the next one. All right, jumping forward in time by a few days and my PSU or power supply unit has finally arrived. It, the box is a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. It's the MSI A750GF. It's 80 plus gold standard, which is apparently what you want. Again, I have no idea about the numbers or the specs or anything. 750 watts, which should be more than enough for my CPU and my GPU. All right, and this was on sale for 98 bucks which honestly, I can't get anything for 98 bucks. Well, other than the fans, this was cheaper. This is cheaper than my AIO even, $98 ruse. But as I'm recording this, the price has gone back up to about 140, 150 bucks. So I got a pretty good sale on this one. Important information, yeah, nice. Eh. So, oh, there's a really nice bag. Ah, and this has all the power cables. We'll need that. Oh, one bag for a bag. All right, and this has, should have all the cables that we need. Oh yeah, nice. I really wanted to get the white one. The white one wasn't on sale. It doesn't matter, because this hides under the black mesh anyway and you can't see it. There we go. 
that's cool. You can see some of the components there. It's completely modular, so if I ever want to upgrade, I can leave the wires in, just unplug it from the PSU, chuck this in the bin, and grab the other one. And that's it, pretty cool. And that's it for the PSU. Let's jump back in time for the rest of the unboxing. So I mentioned I'll be replacing the stock fans on the case to these two white ones from Cooler Master. One because these ones are white and two, they're RGB. Not that I care too much for RGB, honestly, but mainly for the frames of the fans, adding a little bit of flavor to the inside of the case. And I reckon it'll look pretty cool. Well, I hope that it looks pretty cool. So we've got two of these and they were $16 roos each. So very inexpensive. Pretty cheap. I'll just unbox one because the other is exactly the same. Here's a fan. I reckon this looks sick. Just hang it on my wall like this. I reckon this looks pretty cool. Uh, there are two ports. I think that's the power port, power cable, and the RGB cable. Ah, oh, it's got a splitter to connect the other one to it. So you can join two fans together and use one lead to power up both of them. Oh, pretty cool. And in here you have a cable holder. I think it's to hold the RGB connection together, like it's saying in this diagram here. And we'll deal with that in the next video when we actually go to install. Next is this beautiful looking AIO. The white looks so cool. It is the Master Cooler, Master Liquid. That's the code, white edition, 240 mils. So it's two 120 mil fans, same size as the other ones. Oh, and this was on sale for $99 roos. So not overly expensive, but once you start to add things together, oh man, the RRP, of this build is, oh my God, so high. I can't believe I actually spent this much. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, so first of all, we've got two fans. I think they might even be exactly the same as the ones that I bought. Let's open one of them to see. No, they're not exactly the same. That's the power and this one here is for the RGB, this little one. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something in the box to connect this little guy and run the RGB for this guy. A whole bag of accessories. SATA power cable, I think, for the RGB remote. Okay, there's an RGB controller or something. Brackets for LGA1700, which is what I need to mount this to my processor. We have, I don't know what this is for. I think this is, mm, okay, so this joins or connects both of the fans together for power. It's a splitter, connects both of them, and then this to a fan socket on the motherboard. And yes, we have a, we have an RGB splitter. Cool. Um, so this is very different to what I have in the other two fans. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to connect those to this for RGB control. So I want to keep this out and try to mock up something for the other two fans. Here's the coolest part, the radiator. Looks like a mini car radiator. That's so cool. Oh, almost forgot. Whole heap of other brackets in here and also the thermal paste. Good stuff. We've got the RAM. This is the Groom Jaws uh, DDR4. It's two 16 gigabyte cards for a total of 32 at 3200 millihertz, megahertz, whatever, MHZ each. They look pretty cool. Standard RAM cards. These were not on sale. It's the only thing I got that wasn't on sale. It was $179 ruse just for these two things. For something that performs this well, according to the reviews, it's pretty well priced. And especially compared to the DDR5, it's even 
the price is even better but I didn't think I was going to be spending $179 on two sticks of RAM. And the star of the show is the Gigabyte RTX 3080. This one is the Vision OC. I think OC means overclock, which honestly I'm not going to do. I don't really care. One of the big reasons why I got this Vision version is that it is white, just to fit with the theme. There's the gaming version, which has one distinct difference between this or the same price. Um, and honestly, the only reason why I picked up this one over the other one is the aesthetics. It just looks really good. I mean, on the photos anyway, it costed $1,199. Not cheap but in the current market, not badly priced. It was on sale. I can't believe it was 1200 on sale. And thanks to the recent crypto crash, I was you know, able to get this one. There aren't any, uh, there's no tape on the side. So pretty easy to open, but I'm pretty sure there's tape sealing it on the inside. Gigabyte. Quick start guide, warranty, commitment. Yeah, maybe we'll need that just in case. It's still in its packaging, but it looks that good. Oh yeah. It's got tape on the back. Oh yeah. Look at that. And then look at this, wow, that looks so good. Wow. What does it say? Broaden your horizons. Gigabyte. Oh, you can see all the heat sinks in there and everything, that's pretty cool. Oh, and even the back, wow. That looks fully, fully sick. It has a total of five ports three display and two HDMI, cool. Yeah, no, that looks really cool. Wow. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Mr. Doom TV. What do you think about the parts that I've bought? Are they compatible? If they're not, or if you think I've made a shit decision, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where I try to put this together. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode.